Hi guys, welcome to uh, Arlet Ascendo Demo Theater here in Germany at Lübeck. Um, this is actually in the very north of Germany, close to Hamburg, if you're not familiar with Lübeck. And I want to talk today uh, here about the equipment first. This is um, the equipment racks, basically three big racks, 19 inch racks filled with equipment. And uh, we're talking, of course, um, about Ascendo and all the partners being involved into this project. So let's start as usual with the processor. The processor here in this case is um, uh, the Trenov Altitude uh, 32 and the Altitude 32 running all 32 channels actually. Uh, so it's a fairly big system. Lovely. Thanks, Jeffrey. Thanks so much. Um, welcome everybody to the Movie Call. Uh, I'm David Marovitz from Trenov Audio. Um, just a bit of uh, <clears throat> information about the, the, the demonstration, the equipment that we have here. Um, we're using the Altitude 32. Uh, there's two reasons for that. The first one is that we actually need 16 channel, uh, multi-channel DCI input. So from the Barco Freya Plus, we're getting a 16 channel PCM. So we're able to produce both uh, HDMI, so consumer content and DCI in this uh, in this one theater. We're then taking the 32 channel output uh, into the Ascendo Dante interface. So we have a total of 96 speakers in this uh, in this demonstration. There's there's not many ways to really achieve that. Um, you know, supporting that many channels just first of all is a, is a bit of a challenge for any AV processor. Um, but then being able to simultaneously switch between the, the, the systems that we have here. So yeah, taking those 32 channels into the Dante interface and out to uh, the Escendo immersive audio system, um, that's, that's what we're doing. And of course, you know, the, the, the Trinov optimizer is, uh, is here to do, you know, what we do in terms of the uh, level delay, uh, all the time domain correction that we do. And of course, the big challenge for us is integrating the infrasonic subwoofer. Um, it's, it's no secret that, that, that no um, automated audio system can really deal with the infrasonic. Uh, the microphones don't <laughs> read deep enough. Uh, the filters that we use are, are not powerful enough to go down to those single digit uh, sort of figures that we're hitting in this room. So that's the technical challenge that we have to meet in this space, uh, regardless of the uh, you know, above center, below center uh, screen channels that we have as well. So it's a, it's a real, you know, first class mix of technology that we have in this, uh, in this space. And, you know, <laughs> we, we've had a great evening, I have to say. Um, we played Metallica at upwards of 120 decibels with zero distortion, uh, huge amount of impact and uh, everybody was rocking. And, you know, that is incredibly difficult to do. It's a real testimony to uh, Andy and uh, the team here at MovieCore for the incredible job they've done in the acoustic design. You know, to, to get bass decay uh, less than 200 milliseconds in a, in, a, in, a, in a space such as this is the most enormous engineering challenge and they've, uh, they've absolutely met it. And the high frequencies are lively. It's, it's just honestly, it's a perfectly acoustically designed space. It's honestly one of the, if not the best uh, space I've been in, let alone all the technology that's in here. So yeah, thank you for uh, viewing the video and uh, hopefully see you again. Thank you. The system is completely um, audio over IP Dante network. So after the trend off, basically the output is fed into some uh, Ascendo um, audio interfaces that convert the XLR, the balanced audio, into the Dante stream. So a single CAT cable basically transports then the 32 channels of audio and um, distributes them <coughs> throughout the system to the individual DSPs and amplifiers. So um, down here, we have basically the heart of the system, which um, I don't know if you know how Dante works, but it's basically a, a normally uh, Ethernet based system and you need a Dante capable switch, which we're using a Cisco switch up here that has a specific uh, setting. And um, now these amplifiers are a 32 channel DSP and 16 channel amplifier. And the model is called uh, GAN32164504. 
And all that stands for basically gallium nitride, 32 channel, uh, this DSP, 16 channel amplification, and um, the thir 34, um, 504 is um, standing for, for the power basically uh, for all the channels. Um, now, the other uh, products we're having in here are our eight channel um, analog amplifiers and the eight channel analog amplifiers is called AIA 8-6004. It's a eight channel with eight times 750 watts RMS in four ohms or 400 watts in eight ohms. And they can be bridged then to 1500 watts uh, in uh, 8 ohms, in case you have a li little bit more power hungry loudspeakers. And this is what we did in some of the loudspeakers in here in the theater. And uh, then up here, we have um, the same interfaces as you just saw now or heard about um, from the input, we have the output section. So basically there is a, a um, Ethernet cable coming in and outputting 16 audio channels. So it's by basically our Dante output interface with 16 channels. That's how it's called. And then we have the uh, Harvest. Those are not from Ascendo. This is a German manufacturer uh, with uh, 24 channels. Uh, DSP and Dante output, uh, analog output interface. And those input uh, outputs then are being fed into our Ascendo 8-channel amplifiers, which are driving then the surround channels. And um, some of which, like here, for example, are driving our 80-inch subwoofer with 10 kilowatts. There's also a Dante amplifier, and um, we have here more surround channel amplifiers. Powered subwoofers, so the 21-inch subwoofers, we use eight of those uh, as what we call kick-ups running basically from about 30 Hertz and up. And then we have the 80 inch, uh, of course, coming basically from one Hertz and up. Just an interesting background here, down here, you see a huge you know, power distribution panel. This is a three phase, 63 amps, uh, 230 volt per, uh, per phase. Um, so basically three times 63 amps with 230 volts. So there is a lot of power going into this rack, as you can imagine. Because the total power of um, uh, amplification you see here um, exceeds about 100 kilowatts. So we have 100 kilowatts RMS power in this theater, and that's um, pretty outstanding, I would say. We also have, uh, as you can see here, uh, some video processing equipment because in this room, we have also an LED uh, screen wall with um, about six meter width. That's about, I think, 18 feet wide. I didn't really make the math uh, what was the dia uh, diagonal, but um, I think it's somewhere between 220 to 260 inches, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And so this is basically the, the video matrix switcher for, for the LED panels. And uh, they also have uh, video panels on the side walls installed here. So basically, it's a, and also on the ceiling. So it's a complete um, <clears throat> 3D mapping of video, not only in the front, but also on the side walls and the, the ceiling where uh, basically some content can be displayed. We have a matte VR for uh, processing for the, for the screen which is, uh, I think, a CinemaScope 2.35 to 1 size. Hi, everybody. I'm Bart de Vos. I'm a business development manager for Barco Residential for the EMEA territory. So that's Europe, Middle East and Africa. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Freya Plus uh, projector that we have here in the room at Arlet Movie Core. The Freya Plus is a 4K RGB laser DCI certified projector, uh, outputting 13,500 ANSI lumens. Uh, and it's capable of addressing 98.5% of the REC 2020 color space. Now, why is that important? Lots of content is DCI-P3 already, but more and more we've got content going beyond that, reaching into the REC 2020 color space. And with a projector like this, you get the benefit of being able to reproduce all of those lovely things. DCI certified means that it is capable of playing back DCP files, so DCP or digital cinema packages, which enables owners to play back the exact same files as the commercial cinemas are getting. And that means you get 
even better audio quality, even better video quality in your private cinema. In terms of contrast, uh, you're talking here a projector of 950 to about 1000 uh, to 1 ANSI contrast. And that is different from what other manufacturers specify, but ANSI contrast is the scientifically uh, accepted and approved way of measuring contrast. Another cool thing about the RGB laser is just the phenomenal way that it produces colors. It's not only about the white color gamut, but the way that it does so. And that's because of the fact that it's got a red, a green and a blue laser combining all to make that lovely, uh, lovely images onto the screen. Yes, uh, we are um, Alex and Andreas from Alet. Um, I am the owner and uh, um, Andreas is my father and the chief technology officer. And he's uh, the brain from the Alet Cinema. He has uh, planned it, fully planned it. And uh, we are a family business here at Alet Cinema. We are doing this business since many, many years with uh, some other media techniques. And so we decided to build a new superlative uh, home cinema uh, here in, um, in our rooms. And, and um, by planning this project, um, so we wanted to build an LED screen in our cinema. And Escando has a new um, LED uh, screen loudspeaker, the directors. And um, we heard them and their sound is very, very good. So we decided to install the fully Escando system to yeah, support the LED wall. Our LED wall is um, 6.1 meters wide and about 2.4 meters high with a um, yes, resolution of uh, 3840 pixels by 1512 pixels. So it's uh, 2.35 by 1. Our wall is, uh, has um, a brightness over 1,000 nits. Yes, and the, our wall. And, and the LED wall is, uh, is uh, combin combined with the dynamic tone mapping from the Envy. We have a, a special presets and, and a special calibration. The LEDs are special LEDs for a better farbroom uh, over DCI-P drive. We can build REC 2020 at about 90, 90 three percent mm -hmm. and that's new in the market and uh, we are built this LED wall special for home theater that had better low break uh, balance. balance and also a good brightness you can switch from 600 to 1000 or you can 200 it's not a problem <coughs> the colors are also bright and uh, we have special things to build the LED wall we can make a lower BTU weight to uh, separate the power conditioner in the extra room and so on and so on. We can yeah, many things do that the LED wall is better uh, for using in home cinemas. Yes. And here's, here's the first one mm -hmm. uh, and we show it both with projection technology, mm -hmm. with best projection technology and so the, the customer can, can look, oh, what is 100 nit? on the projector, what is 200 nit on the LD wall, or what is 600 nit on the LD wall. You don't can make this on the projection system. Yeah. Not, not, enough li not enough light. And uh, we have, of course, a more and more better black level at the LED wall at uh, all projection systems. So when you have dark content um, with, with dark background, back um, rounds, um, the, the content is coming out of nowhere in this room when it's fully dark. So it's uh, really, Really cool effect. Yes. And so on, we have combined the front LED wall with the side LED walls and the ceiling LED wall. The ceiling LED wall, uh, you don't see it. This is uh, behind, behind fabric, fabrics. behind mm. special fabric, of, but was our design. Uh, of course, we have uh, built, I think, 50 square meter LED technology here in the room. In case you have more questions, of course, uh, let us know. And I think the next step would be we, re we would need to go inside the room and show you a little bit about how it looks and how it works and uh, talk a little bit more about the speakers, of course.
Yeah, so let me explain um, everything about this uh, loudspeaker installation here in this theater to you. We have four models of loudspeakers installed in this theater. And I would like to start um, off with our brand new loudspeaker, which has been developed in the last two and a half years. It's called the Director. And the Director is a very dedicated loudspeaker to LED screen walls, which you see here. Here is an LED screen wall with uh, 18 uh, feet width. Uh, and we installed this loudspeaker because um, I don't know if you know, but LED screen wall loudspeakers don't allow speakers to be installed, of course, behind it because they're closed walls. So you need to install the loudspeakers around the LED wall. And we decided to go with one installation that uh, installs the speaker above and also below the screen. So above the screen, we have five, uh, because the screen is so wide, we decided to go with five speakers. So we have a left, a left center, center, right center, and right loudspeaker above the screen. And this speaker is called the director. The director, of course, it has um, uh, to do with the movie industry. So the director for us uh, was uh, the right word because it's um, a very precise loudspeaker. It has been designed to have a very dedicated horizontal and vertical dispersion pattern, uh, specifically designed for in-ceiling flush mount and very high performance. So the same speaker also we installed down here in uh, this stage, little stage here. And uh, <clears throat> the director exists of two drivers, actually. It's a mid woofer and it's a waveguide and they're crossed over at around 700 Hertz. What we do is here then between the top and the bottom installation of this director, uh, we generate basically a phantom image right in the center of the uh, screen that the voice comes right from the middle of the screen. So it doesn't basically appear above or below the screen. Now the director is designed based on an eight inch AMT driver. AMT driver are very natural and dynamic sounding drivers, but they have one disadvantage that they're very directive. It's almost like a line source. And so we designed a, a very special lens to basically distribute the high frequencies from above down. When you sit in the first row, for example, the angle is quite steep. So you need the high frequencies directing to the front row. And um, otherwise, if you wouldn't have that special lens, which is actually patent pended, then it wouldn't really uh, direct the high frequencies to the first row more to the second row, which we, of course, don't want. Now, this loudspeaker is also uh, very interesting in terms of dynamic with uh, we offer this loudspeaker with one or with two uh, 10 inch midwoofers. So with one 10 inch midwoofer, we're limited to about 127 dB SPL with two midwoofers, we're way above 130 dB, so about 133 dB SPL, uh, and that's continuous. And then we still have about 12 dB uh, headroom with a 12 dB crest factor. The design of this loudspeaker is that it comes with a magnetic grill. So when you install it in the ceiling, you can color that magnetic grill and you can snap it on by magnets. It's very thin. It's only 0.3 mil uh, thick stainless steel and you can spray paint it, of course. And there is a, a, a scrim in the back so you cannot see through. So it's really uh, perfect for a uh, living room or media room environments where usually these LED screen walls are used when you have um, a lot of uh, daylight or, or light uh, situations where you need basically the light, high light output of an LED screen. And also here in the front, uh, even though not visible, we have our subwoofers, which we call the kick subwoofers. It's a, a 21 inch subwoofer. So we have one installed in each corner, one below and one above here on the left side, one below and above here on the right side. 
And the same in the very back. So we have basically two woofers, one in the left and lower right side in the back. And also, so all together, it's eight 21 inch subwoofers in here. They're all sealed subwoofers uh, because it's a sealed enclosure rolling off right at around um, 40 Hertz. Yeah. And so since we have an infrasonic woofer anyway, that is the perfect roll off we actually desire. And uh, the model name is the 21 inch Pro Passive because it's a passive enclosure. There is no amplifier built in. The amplifier is an external rack mount amplifier with uh, 2500 watt each channel, basically each, each subwoofer. So let's just go around here in the circle here in the theater to show you more of the speakers that are in this theater. Right behind this stretch fabric, there is a 12 inch coaxial, which is called the 12 Pro Passive, because it's also a passive 12 inch coaxial uh, loudspeaker. We have that model also as a beryllium version, as an upgrade, which is not installed in this theater right now. And uh, we have these speakers as uh, a wedge shape or as a straight shape. The straight shape is eight inches deep and the wedge shape, uh, I don't know um, if you want to point up here, you see a little bit this wedge shape of loudspeaker, right? And they come with a magnetic grill as well. So you um, see that they're covered, you don't see the driver. And there is actually 20 um, of these 12 inch coaxials installed as surround and as top layer and as high surrounds. The system uh, within itself is a 17.2.13 system. So we're running 32 channels on the Trenov. And these 32 channels on the Trenov uh, are basically fully um, looped through Dante. So let's uh, just go around here. The newest uh, development in our um, lineup, which is the 80 inch subwoofer. So you see I'm, I'm quite tall and the subwoofer here goes uh, about two feet uh, below my, uh, my ground. It is installed in a um, almost 400 cubic feet sealed enclosure and uh, has a resonance frequency of about eight hertz. And um, so it can reproduce really the lowest octave of these LFE channels, you know, being reproduced in, in uh, home theater or also music. You can, you can reproduce very high-end music in this theater as well. And this 80-inch subwoofer, uh, which is called V80, very simple, can travel 70 millimeters, so 35 millimeters each way. And that's linear, not peak to peak, because that's the absolute homogeneous uh, um, magnetic field in the motor. The voice coil is a 21 inch voice coil. And um, we employ only a pure neodymium uh, and 50 magnets. So the strongest neodymium uh, we can use uh, for heat purpose in this uh, motor. The cone area is almost four square meters, 3.86 square meters actually. So we can move with one stroke forward or one stroke backward almost 90 liters, so uh, altogether uh, 180 liters, almost six uh, cubic feet air we can, we can move. Um, and this is by far the most potent subwoofer in the world today. So um, if you have any doubt or questions, you know, you can visit us at www.aia-cinema.com. And um, if there is anything, uh, you want to know about the theater, of course, contact us on our channel, like Shane Lee in uh, YouTube or uh, Instagram. And also, if you want to learn more about this theater or even visit it, this is located in Lübeck, Germany, and uh, you can fly into Hamburg or Lübeck itself and um, then contact Arlet or Ascendo for an audition session. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it.